Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, get better performance and fix all of your lags and stutter in Genshin Impact 4.1. A lot of you guys wanted me to revise the new FPS guide with the new FPS pack so I'm back again in this video. Make sure to follow this video till the end and don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can help you out here visually. And with all that said, let's get started. Step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that I would recommend you guys to open up settings on your PC, go over to the gaming section, then make sure that you click on Xbox Game Bar and disable it. Xbox Game Bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and running it in the background is surely gonna decrease your FPS in the long run. Now go back to gaming, go over to game mode and make sure that the game mode is turned on. Enabling the game mode will help you in a lot of ways. Firstly, it disables all of the unwanted applications in the background and it also cleans up the notifications coming in the background so you get an immersive gaming experience. Right beneath that, you will find graphics, make sure to click on it, then over here you'll find change default graphic settings. Click on that and enable both of these options. The first one is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling that will use your GPU instead of your CPU. And second one is the optimization for windowed games and this is just to decrease your input latency. Now once you're done with that, go back to graphics. Now once you're in the graphic settings, you will find all of your games and applications that uses your GPU primarily listed right over here. Now over here you need to find Genshin Impact. So right over here I have Genshin Impact added already. You need to click on options and then select high performance. Similarly do it for the application as well. If you don't have it, you can always click on the browse button and add it manually. Now once you're done with that, simply close up your settings. I would like to introduce you all to Orbison Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android and iOS. Orbison Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Avison Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. And you can save up to 17 GB on your smartphone for not downloading Genshin Impact. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Obvious and Remote, thanks for sponsoring this video. Let's move to the step number 2 that is de-animating your windows. De-animating your windows is a very important step and it contributes to huge FPS boost. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and this small window will open right in front of you. What you're looking for over here is the adjust for best performance and then simply click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will help you to keep the original look of your windows but it will disable most of the animations that you do not really need, ultimately giving you much better performance and much better FPS whenever you're in the game. Step number 3 is defragging your disk and this is also really important. For that, you need to search for defragmentation and optimization of drives and right over here you need to select your local disk C. Now it can be solid state drive or a hard disk drive. I personally have a solid state drive. So if you have a solid state drive, click on change settings right over here. And in the optimization schedule, you need to run a schedule recommended daily and increase task priority. Simply click on choose the drives and select all of your drives. Then simply click on OK. I have already done it, so I need to cancel them. And once you're back here, you need to simply click on run. And now once you're back here, you just need to simply click on optimize. Clicking on optimize will start trimming your solid state drive which will ultimately give you better performance. Also if you have a hard disk drive I'd recommend you guys to click on analyze and fragment it. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues with exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of all of your ping issues as well as packet loss. You can simply download it for free from the link in the description below. And once you open it up, the application looks like this. The best part is exit lag has over 1000 games to choose from. And what you need to do is simply search for Genshin Impact right over here. Select the nearest region to you. For me, it is Singapore 01. And as you guys can see, it gives me approximately 57 milliseconds of latency. Simply click on apply routes. 
go to the tools section go to the fps boost section enable the first third fourth fifth third last and last option to get much better performance and if exit lag helps you out you can always choose a subscription plan for it and you can get a monthly semi-annual or annual subscription but if you go from the link in my description below you will get a flat 10% off on any of the purchase for the first time so make sure to go and check it out I hope exit lag helps you next step is creating a register point and this is really essential simply search for create a register point on your pc look for system protection right over here select your local disk c or which says system in front of it simply click on create and name it genshin now this is just for you to remember it and simply click on create I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in protecting your system. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back to normal without any data loss. Now once you're done with that, next step is downloading the Genshin Impact 4.1 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download it from there or if you're facing any troubles downloading it, you can always join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now once you open it up, you will simply find in 4 folders. First one is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel priority. Now if you use an AMD processor, run the AMD CPU priority. If you use an Intel CPU, use the Intel CPU priority. Now once you're done with that, open up the second folder which is the RAM optimization and I have left a ton of presets for your RAM. Now I am using 32GB RAM, it could be different for you so you can choose the one which you have over here and also if you don't like the performance, I have also left a reset to default over here as well. Now with these two things, you can optimize your CPU and RAM. Next one is optimizing our Genshin Impact and for that I have left a Genshin Impact priority. Now over here, the Genshin Impact normally runs on the normal priority but if you guys want better performance and fix all of your stuttering issues you can go with above normal or high priority and for that i would recommend you guys to leave your specs down in the comments below so i can reply to you which one you need to choose among these ones now go back to the last folder which is the windows optimization and over here run both of these registries first one is the exclusive full screen and what it does is it basically prioritizes your game to run on exclusive full screen that means every single programs or applications or processes running in the background will be minimized also this one is a general boost pc responsiveness and this will basically disable things in the background which will get you better performance drastically now once you're done with all of them simply close your fps pack and drop into genshin impact for best in game settings okay so once you're in your game what you need to do is press your escape key and then go over to the settings once you are here go over to graphics and then make sure that your graphics quality is set to custom your display mode should be your native full screen resolution however if you want to get better fps you can always lower it down to increase your fps brightness is a personal preference for fps i'd recommend you guys to set it on 60 vsync should be turned off Render resolution, I personally prefer to go with 0.8 or 0.9, they work best for you. For shadow quality, go with low, global illumination off, visual effects low, SFX quality low, environment detail low, anti-aliasing, go with FSR 2, volumetric fog, reflection and motion blur, all three of them should be turned off, bloom, I'd recommend you guys to turn this thing off as well, crowd density, go with low, co-op teammates effects, doesn't really matter a lot, you can leave it on or off. For subsurface scattering, go with medium and anisotropic filtering, go with 2x or 1x. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.